Hi, welcome to the Smart Stars video show. I'm Doug Vining. And I'm Brian Brown. Doug, you were recently in Boston. Can you tell us a little bit about your trip to the technology conference? Sure, Brian. I went to see the Emerging Technology Conference 2008 at MIT. Um, that's just across the river from Boston. And it was pretty interesting to hear live presentations and demonstrations um, on all sorts of technology fields like nanotech, um, medical technology, parallel computing, green energy, electric cars, all that sort of thing. Very interesting indeed. Doug, what would you say is the most disruptive technology you see coming out of the pipelines? Or maybe the top two? Well, I'd, I'd say from a personal perspective, I'd say probably the combination of nanotech and biotech where you can start uh, looking at things like uh, using organisms to grow um, electronic devices and things like that, that is pretty disruptive, but it's still a few years away. I would say the other thing that is really getting a lot of attention, and in fact they were even talking about a bubble in that sector, is the whole clean tech or green energy uh, focus. There's a lot of money going, a lot of venture capital going into alternative fuels, um, electric uh, drive trains for vehicles, all that sort of thing, and that's getting a lot of attention. Yeah, it certainly is. Even here in South Africa, where we're seeing one of our latest smart ideas was an electric vehicle. Um, as a matter of fact, I believe there's two smart ideas about an electric vehicle that are on their way through the pipeline here. One of them is an imported product, and the other one is a locally manufactured product. So it's pretty exciting stuff. So green tech, that's the way to go as far as energy is concerned these days. Where does nuclear power feature in that? Was there any discussion of nuclear power at the conference? There was, um, there was a, a, I got the feeling that nuclear power wasn't a big uh, development, a developing area, but it was accepted that nuclear would um, at least uh, take up a, a fair proportion, slightly bigger proportion of baseload energy, as they call it, than currently. But there was no real focus on nuclear being developed as new technology. It's, it's viewed as existing technology. I see. And uh, more, there was much more focus on improved efficiencies in solar technology, wind, and of course, again, as I said, a, a huge focus on electrification of vehicles. So there was a large focus on uh, improving technologies in, in solar and wind energy. Um, but again, most of the talk seemed to be around putting electric um, equipment in vehicles. And what kind of confused me a bit was that everyone was talking about plug-in and rechargeable vehicles, but you've got to generate that electricity somewhere. Yes. And uh, the fact they kept saying that you could use uh, solar and wind energy as, as one of the sources to, to charge up those vehicles, but no one even mentioned fuel cells, which I thought was quite strange. That's quite unusual, yes, indeed. So did you have a good time, Doug? Yes, I had a good time. It was very interesting. But another uh, point that came out was that we're certainly not far behind here in South Africa, we, and certainly with our um, keeping up to date with emerging technologies and our perspectives on developing trends, we are right up there. It's, there was nothing that totally uh, blew my mind as being completely earth-shattering that we had no knowledge of whatsoever. So I felt uh, reassured that, uh, that we really know what's going on. That's great. You heard it from the horse's mouth. We're definitely not behind in innovation. Um, it's not just a struggle to keep up, but it's just really more important that we get the word out that there is emerging technologies that are being originated right here in South Africa, and that's part of what we do here at Blue Catalyst, isn't it, Doug? It certainly is, and we're looking for more of those really leading innovation ideas to come from our community, from the people who are watching this video, hopefully. Yes, and we're seeing some exciting developments in biotech, in renewable energy, um, there's all kinds of technologies here in South Africa, so if you've got one that you think deserves a little bit of showcasing, certainly contact us or make a video and upload it. Well, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll come along soon with another show, and hopefully it will be as informative as this one. Thanks, Doug. Bye from me.